guys, how's it going? Uh, Troy here, Death Trot, ATX RC Addicts, whatever you want to call me. Um, here to talk about my next build, um, putting together the parts. Finally, have everything and it's in the box, so I've got a box. Uh, the box we're about to go through and just figure out what I got. I uh, just wanted to kind of go over all the parts list and um, what I'm going to be expecting out of it and what I'm doing. Um, so I'm building a two, 250 millimeter ZMR. Um, ZMR is the chassis design. Um, I did not get a true ZMR chassis. I've actually got a knockoff. Yes, I did. Um, I got it for a couple of reasons. Um, I really like the color of the knockoff that I'm getting. <laughs> it's a silver. You'll see it in a minute. Um, and I like the price. Um, I also put this build together um, fairly quickly using a good guy, uh, Jared Cuthred. Wait, Cuthred? Um, that uh, I met a couple, I don't know, about a month or so ago on Facebook, and we've been going back and forth. Um, he kind of made me see what I could do with the 250. He talked to me or showed me what he was doing, and uh, I just quickly, like everything, like I did with Steven and his Phantom, obviously. Um, just jumped on and I just had to build one. Um, you can build one of these 250 millimeter, 250 millimeter uh, racers, FPV um, quads for anywhere between like 200 and three, four hundred dollars. Um, you're getting into the really high dollar stuff, but the high dollar stuff doesn't necessarily make a difference as much as it kind of just gives you some leeway with quality, obviously over the long run. Um, just like. All the other cheap parts though, quality um, parts are hard to come by, whether they're high dollar or low dollar. Sometimes the lower dollar ones are just as good. Um, in this situation, um, I did spend a little bit of the extra money. Um, I had some stuff in the works. I sold some parts and some other stuff that it allowed me to do so. Otherwise, I probably would have done a budget build for about two, 225. Um, I'm in the mid three right here. Um, and I've got my controller. That's the only thing that I'm not including in the price. Just to give you a quick shot, um, we are going to be using the T8J uh, Futaba for now. Um, we will be upgrading possibly at some time um, to, well, I say upgrading, but switching to a Tyrannus system down the road and selling this. Um, if I can kind of equal out the money, I think I can. Um, so anyways, with that, I've got a box. So let's go inside the box, guys. Um, um, here we go. Some LEDs. Talk about those in a minute. Just gonna go ahead and unpack this. It's gonna be Benny Hill style. All right, so here we go. A lot of you guys probably already recognize some of this stuff. Um, what we got here. Uh, I'm sorry, let's start with the chassis. So chassis, we already talked about. ZMR 250 plates. Like I said, I went with a nice, clean, silver look. Um, I just really like the design. I know in theory, these things are um, carbon fiber laid over fiberglass, so they're technically not as strong as car true carbon fiber, and they're slightly heavier, I think. Um, but whatever's. Um, all the other little parts are in there, basically. Um, standoffs. All the little uh, anti-dampening balls, or dampening, anti-vibration dampening balls. Oop. These are the uh, landing gear, or skids. They just clip onto each arm, like so, basically, somehow. Um, so that's that. So, chassis. Done. Standoffs, other parts, I'll put it up later does have some nice little instructions just throw it out there real quick show you later during the build process um, chassis once we're there let's go ahead and start talking about electronics so I'm going with the CC3D uh, control board the flight controller um, I got this one from China I got all this stuff from China guys um, I put this build together not wanting to rush it knowing that the Christmas holiday was coming and that I wasn't gonna have time to build it because of my job so I ordered like two thirds of this stuff from China on the cheap cheap and just waited on it. Um, I did get from the good guys at uh, Multi Rotor Mania, I did get the chassis or an extra chassis. Um, I also got some props and I feel like there's something else I got from Multi Rotor uh, Multi Rotor Mania .com. Um, Great place to go. They're actually very competitive price with anybody in the world. So go with those guys. 
Um, anyways, CC3 flight controller unit. Um, I'm going to go with this because I wanted to go with open pilot. From my understanding, it's the easiest and most simple um, uh, flight controller that you can use uh, to start out. So I went with that. Um, so got that. Here we go. Receiver. I'm going with a Futaba. I went with an 8-channel receiver for a few reasons. I may want to add a few features like being able to cut certain lights on and off and do other little switches and doodads as well as I wanted to kind of get something that if I wanted to go to a, another full size quad down the road I could use it. If I want to sell the Futaba unit I can actually still sell this and get a little couple extra bucks. The 10 bucks extra you know, is worth it. It will work on this. Um, sure people will say it's heavy. If I'm really concerned about it I can take the case off. Um, not a big deal. Um. Cameras, I got two. So these are the cables, I'm just gonna set them aside. I did order a cable setup just because I am wanting to play with different versions of um, using the FPV. Um, one of the things I may do is be able to switch between the two on my uh, displays. So this is my C uh, TVL 700 Sony, I forget, like three point whatever millimeter lens. Um, it's got IR so it can run at night, uh, or it's got night vision at least. It doesn't have IR. Um, it, it's just a great little camera uh, from what I'm told. I got it, whatever. Um, that's your basic FPV camera, so Sony TVL. Mobius, everybody uh, in the game or any really action sport camera enthusiast that's bought in any probably has seen a Mobius. I hate it. It looks like a garage door opener, but um, I got it because it's really the only thing on the market besides the SJ um, cameras, and this one's proven, so I'll go with it. Simple PDB, simple power distribution board. It's uh, a great, inexpensive little piece. Um, this thing has all kinds of uh, places to solder on all your different electronics. So you can do your ESCs or you will do your ESCs here at all four corners. You've got the cameras and the VTX power and um, OSD power. And since we're saying that, we're gonna go to my OSD board, which is right here. <clears throat> There's an OSD board in there. And this simple OSD, which is gonna do nothing other than give me voltage will be soldered or attached to the board basically right there and plugged in. Um, so this is a really nice way of getting your power distribution from the battery all the way to all the ESCs, um, to the RX through the ESCs, to the cameras, and to your OSD. Um, this is what I would use. Um, SimpleOSD.com. You can get them also from Multirotor Mania. You can get them with these OSDs already installed. There's a mod for the RSI that you can also do. Um, I think they'll do that. They'll install a step down if you really want to go to a step down. I'm not doing a step down because I, or a step up because I'm running 3S. Um, so that's that. So simple PDB. Camera, simple PDB. Video transmitter, 200 milliwatt. This cheapo TS351. It does me well in my TBS Discovery, so we're going to try it here. Um, if it doesn't work out, somebody will buy it and I'll get a better one or a more powerful one. Put all this back just so... Alright, speaking of step downs, this is a voltage step down regulator. Um, what this is, is it takes 4S power and drops it down to 3S 12 volt 1 amp. So you can go all the way up to 35 volts and then you can drop it all the way back down to 12. Um, the only reason I'm going to install one of these is if I end up going 4S, um, but with my current electronics package, I'm not sure if I can, so I have them. They're just on hand. I use them in my TBS Disco. They're great to have. NTE966. Um, I buy mine from Fry's Electronics for $1.99. You can buy them online for like 6 bucks plus shipping, but um, look for them somewhere else. Alright, here we go. So next is going to be our voltage alarm and our 3S battery packs. So these are the two that I actually would prefer to rock with most of the time. It's going to be a 1.5 Nanotech 3S and it's a 35-30C, so or 70 I mean. It's a 3570C, so it's 35C um, constant and 70C burst. 
Um, great little pack. I think it was like 13 or $16. Um, these are the nanotechs that I'm going to use. I went ahead and also got a 1.6. It's a slightly different profile. It's slightly longer, but skinnier. I just wanted to try it. Um, they had like only one or two available. I just wanted to see. I might like it. Um, voltage alarm. Very, very important, especially on a small um, quad that you're going to take off with and be however far away. You really should have an alarm. Um, typically, you're going to be kind of close. So Here we go. It's a voltage checker. Um, so it's going to tell you all the cells. And then you can also set the voltage that you want it to beep off at so anyways I'm gonna stop <laughs> um, voltage checker batteries nanotech pack voltage checker good all right <clears throat> we'll talk power plant now ESC's uh, Simon K they came already in a pack I got them um, comboed up Simon K's with Tiger T motor navigators. Um, the Tiger T motor is, like everybody knows, one of the top of the line, um, if not the. Um, these are the MN 2204s and they are the pancake style 23kV. So, pretty sweet little motor, man. Um, I'm very excited about having this motor. Um, they come packaged in here with the. Uh, three hole prop design, direct prop design, um, prop adapter. And they also come with the regular prop adapter. Thing is, none of them are counterclockwise technically. So these are all clockwise prop adapters. What good that does me, I don't know. So I'm gonna be getting some lock nuts for the props, um, just like everybody does. But anyways, super cool, man. MN 2204, 2305, or 2300KV. Navigator series T motor. Um, I don't know. I really did it just to have it to be gosh darn honest. So four of those, four Simon K's, and props 5.3s all around um, for now. So 50 30s. I just bought a variety of different from different people depending on what the best price was. 50 30 R's for reverse or counterclockwise. The other 50 30s are clockwise <clears throat> and then I went with a three blade also I wanted to just try them these are 50 30s um, 50 30 tri blades from Jim Fan. anyways all those are uh, 50 30 five white threes so that's those go back to the LEDs real quick um, these are gonna be cool I think because I'll show you here this is a green LED. I actually use similar LED, or the same LED brand or brand and design. Um, this one actually on the TBS Disco at all four corners. So um, I decided to get this one. It's a green one. It's going to be on the front wherever that is. I'm going to somehow mount it like so. You can actually see it's a really nice width for this. It's almost perfect. Um, I can actually either trim some of this off if I want or I'm just going to use the holes as zip ties probably and just, I don't know, make it fit. And then, if that wasn't perfect, what I'm going to do on the back is, why well, get four? Well, I thought it would be really cool to get four red ones and put them on the rear like this. And it's going to look kind of like, uh, you know, thrust coming out like a, a jet pack or a... a jet wash coming out so I just thought it was gonna be cool um, I don't know we'll see I don't know if I'm gonna like it I might go with something else uh, the Knight Rider designs or something these are really cool though man they're not heavy they've got a plastic housing so if you beat them up they're not gonna crack and then they're actually also coated I'd say they're water resistant if not waterproof I mean I would dunk them anyways LEDs um, that's the ZMR build guys um, more to come. This is just part one. I really appreciate you guys sitting through it. Uh, we'll get back to you soon.